which medication is an acetyl cholinesterase inhibitor used in the treatment of alzheimer's disease a levodopa b danepazil c gabapentin d phenytoin and the correct answer is b danepazil Danepazil is a widely used acetylcholinesterase inhibitor for managing Alzheimer's disease. Rivastigmine and galactamine are other drugs in this category. These medications boost acetylcholine levels in the brain, aiding in the improvement of memory and cognitive function. Which structure connects the two hemispheres of the brain? A. Corpus callosum B. Cerebellum C. Thalamus D. Hypothalamus And the correct answer is A. Corpus callosum The structure that connects the two hemispheres of the brain is called the corpus callosum. It is a thick band of nerve fibers that facilitates communication between the left and right hemispheres. Which cranial nerve is responsible for the sense of smell? A. Optic nerve B. Olfactory nerve C. Trigeminal nerve D. Facial now and the correct answer is B. Olfactory now. The cranial now responsible for the sense of smell is the olfactory now, also known as cranial now 1. It transmits sensory information from the nose to the brain. This now allows you to detect and identify different odors. What part of the neuron receives incoming signals from other neurons? A. Axon B. Dendrites C. Soma D. Synapse And the correct answer is B. Dendrites The part of the neuron that receives incoming signals from other neurons is the dendrite. Dendrites are branch-like structures that extend from the cell body. They capture electrical signals or neurotransmitters released by other neurons. These signals are then transmitted to the neuron's cell body for processing. Which part of the brain is responsible for processing visual information? A. Temporal lobe B. Parietal lobe C. Occipital lobe D. Frontal lobe And the correct answer is C. Occipital lobe The part of the brain responsible for processing visual information is the occipital lobe. Located at the back of the brain, it contains the primary visual cortex. This area interprets visual signals received from the eyes, allowing us to perceive and understand visual stimuli. Which lobe of the brain is primarily involved in sensory processing? A. Frontal lobe B. Parietal lobe C. Temporal lobe D. Occipital lobe And the correct answer is B. Parietal lobe The parietal lobe of the brain is primarily involved in sensory processing. It integrates sensory information from various parts of the body including touch, temperature and pain.
which structure in the brain is involved in regulating emotions and is part of the limbic system a hippocampus b amygdala c thalamus d hypothalamus and the correct answer is b amygdala The amygdala is a structure in the brain involved in regulating emotions and is part of the limbic system. It plays a key role in processing emotions such as fear, anger and pleasure. The amygdala helps form emotional memories by linking experiences to emotional responses. It also influences behaviors related to survival such as fight or flight responses. Which disorder involves involuntary tics and vocalizations often starting in childhood? A epilepsy, B Tourette syndrome, C autism, D ADHD. And the correct answer is B Tourette syndrome. Tourette syndrome is a neurological disorder which means it affects the brain. It causes people to make sudden movements or noises that they can't control. Tourette's is like um like that and it happens without notice. Tourette syndrome is a disorder characterized by involuntary tics and vocalizations. It typically begins in childhood, usually between the ages of 5 and 10. Tics can be motor involving movement or vocal involving sounds the exact cause of tourette syndrome is unknown but it is believed to involve genetic and environmental factors while there is no cure treatments can help manage symptoms Which neurodegenerative disorder is characterized by tremors, stiffness, bradykinesia and postural instability? A Huntington's disease, B Alzheimer's disease, C Parkinson's disease, D ALS. And the correct answer is C Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder marked by tremors stiffness bradykinesia and postural instability it occurs due to the loss of dopamine producing neurons in the brain symptoms typically develop gradually and worsen over time the exact cause of parkinson's is unknown but both genetic and environmental factors are thought to play a role while there is no cure medications and therapies can help manage the symptoms Which condition is characterized by recurrent intense headaches often accompanied by nausea vomiting and sensitivity to light and sound A tension headache B cluster headache C migraine D sinus headache and the correct answer is C migraine Migraine is a condition characterized by recurrent intense headaches These headaches are often accompanied by nausea, vomiting and sensitivity to light and sound. Migraine attacks can last for hours to days and vary in frequency. While the exact cause is unknown, genetics and environmental factors are believed to contribute. The treatment focus is on relieving symptoms and preventing future attacks. What is the most common type of dementia characterized by progressive memory loss and cognitive decline? 
ए वैस्कुलर डिमेंशिया बी लुई बॉडी डिमेंशिया सी अल्जीमर्स डिजीज डी फ्रॉन्टो टेम्पोरल डिमेंशिया एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी अल्जीमर्स डिजीज Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. It is characterized by progressive memory loss and cognitive decline. Symptoms worsen over time, affecting daily activities and leading to severe impairment. The resting membrane potential of a typical neuron is approximately a minus seventy millivolts, b minus thirty millivolts, c plus thirty millivolts, d plus seventy millivolts. And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.